Kaiser's Port City Racing is pleased to introduce the new Action Replay Dash Display. The Dash Display features built-in data logging. Data logging can provide the driver or engineer instant feedback and information for more informed decision making to aid with vehicle setup and driver coaching. It can record up to 15 runs and up to 2 hours of data. It has solid state electronics for exceptional reliability. This unit provides on display recording and playback of a wide variety of parameters including engine speed data, oil pressure, water temperature, oil temperature, fuel pressure, and battery voltage, all invaluable assets for troubleshooting. The intelligent alarm system constantly monitors engine condition and instantly informs the driver of any problems. Absolutely no needle waver. Backlit for clear viewing under all lighting conditions, the composite case and shatter resistant glass ensure that your replay dash display will keep working even in the most difficult conditions. It's even 100% waterproof. Kaiser's high accuracy replay dash display system is supplied complete with sensors, connectors, wired harness, and a comprehensive user manual. All the accessories you need to get started right away. There are also many optional accessories available to customize your display. Aaron Mori, sales manager at Kaiser Manufacturing, has won numerous races. He took us to his busy garage to give a demonstration of the dash display right from the cockpit of his UMP number 2K modified race car. Aaron? Today we're going to talk about the Kaiser display system. When you get your system and you get it hooked up for the first time, when you power it up, it's normal for it to make a little bit of a noise and uh, hold the RPM there just below zero. Now you'll get a warning at first for low oil pressure, you know, because the gauge right now is reading a oil pressure zero. First thing you want to do is hit the button three, and it'll clear it out. Now to go through and look at your different screen options, use button three. The first screen, you'll have your battery bolts, your water pressure, which is at zero, the motor's not running, oil pressure, oil temperature. When you hit it, it'll go to the next screen, which is set up for a timer system, which is another uh, addition you can get with the gauge. Um, when you hit it again, you're going to have your water temperature, which is 61 degrees, fuel pressure, and then you're going to have your oil temp and your oil pressure again on this screen. Now when you first get your when you first get your dash, you'll want to go through and set it up. To do that, you want to press buttons one and two at the same time. You just hold them. And then when you release them, it's going to give you a place to set how many cylinders you have. And you got eight all the way through or sixteen all the way through one. You want to go through here and set it up for eight if you are using an eight cylinder engine. Hit button three to go to the next screen. Now here you can edit your test gate RPM. What this does, this is this is going to be the RPM at which the gauge, the dash, will start recording, not recording, but it'll start re replaying your peak. So when you hit your recall, it'll show your peak RPM, uh, peak pressure or temperatures, and then uh, the low temperatures. I've got this one set at 3,000 RPMs. So you can adjust it by pressing one button one to decrease it, or button two to increase it. Okay, hit button three to go to the next screen. This one is edit test log RPM. This is a screen that you can set the RPM at which you want your dash panel to start recording. Now. I like to set mine at 6,000 RPMs, and the reason is I don't want it to record parade laps. I don't want it to record every time I start the motor up uh, to warm it up. So I try to set it at an RPM at which um, I'm hoping that I'll hit just when I get the green. So the longer you hold it, the faster it scrolls.
now that I got it set at 6,000 RPMs, you hit button three. The next one is edit shift. You can just skip over this one unless you're running a shift light, which we are not. Uh, the next screen after you hit button three is edit test high water temp. This is where you set the warning light to come on on your water temperature. I've got mine set at 220 degrees. Now you can turn this on and off as well. Um, I rec we always recommend to keep it on. And again, if you wanted to decrease it, press button one, increase it, press button two. Hit three to go to the next. The next one is your oil temp. I've got this set at 290 degrees. And again, you can turn it on or off. Hit button three to go to the next one. It's your fuel pressure warning. And again, I, we set ours at 3.5. You can increase it, decrease it, wherever you wish to have your warning set. Hit button three again. goes to your oil pressure. I've got mine set at 20 pounds. So that 20 pounds or lower, your, my warning light will come on. Hit button three again. Now we're on water pressure. I've got water pressure set at four pounds. The next one after you hit button three, again, is your battery volts. I've got this, the warning set to display a low battery warning light at 11.0 volts. Um, this one here, again, you can raise or increase or decrease the value. Okay, when you hit button three again, you can set on the pop-up when it uh, when you you are running the lap timer beacon. You can you, this is the screen where you'll set how long your lap time will display on the dash. So I've got it set for 12 seconds. So after I go across the line where the beacon set, it will display my last lap time for 12 seconds to give me plenty of time to look at my last lap. When you hit button three to go to the next setting, it's nudge amount. This is where you can set how fast you want it to fast forward or rewind when you're in the replay mode watching your last race. Uh, when you're watching your last race, if you if a yellow comes out and you're on a caution, you can hit the nudge button and it'll nudge forward or backwards 10 seconds. Now, I like to increase this to 30. 30 seconds that way during cautions I can speed through the caution laps uh, fairly quickly. Hit button three again we're back on cylinders the very first screen. To get out of this you'll hit button four but now you're back at the beginning. So again hit button three to clear out the warning when you first power the unit and then you can go through your screens by hitting button three. Now after you, you race or while you're racing you can recall your peak values by do it to do so you press button one. Okay as you can see the last time I ran looks like we peaked out around 7400 RPM. The lowest the battery bolts went to was 12.1. The lowest the water pressure dropped to was 12. The highest oil temperature was 234 degrees. The highest oil, or I'm sorry, the lowest oil pressure was 22. To delete your peak recalls, you, while, you're, while holding button one, press button three, and it will zero it out. So now when you hit the recall button, nothing happens. So a lot of times during the race, you know, if you have a yellow and you wanted to check your, your uh, recall on your tack, I'll just press button one, and then when you're done looking at it, you want to delete it to see what it does the second half, go ahead and press button three while you're pressing button one. Now to replay the last race, you want to press buttons three and four. While holding the buttons down, turn power on. 
Now when you release it, it'll show that you've got seven of seven, you're displaying seven of seven runs. Okay, so right now I've got seven races stored in the memory. Um, shows zero laps because I do not have the lap counter on during the race, but if you had the lap counter or the, the timing system, you can uh, view how many laps each race was. The display system can hold up to 15 runs, about two hours worth of data. The recorded data can be deleted from the action replay menu at any time. To go through and, and watch your last run, you'll hit button four. As you can see right now, you're replaying the last race. Okay, right now it looks like we're still on a parade lapse. Um, RPMs in between 3,000 4,000 RPM right now. Now, if you wanted to nudge forward, we set it as we said earlier. Press button two. Okay, you just keep pressing button two, and it'll go up where I've got it set at 30 seconds. Okay, it looks like we're here at the race now. As you can see, the RPM's dropping down to about 4,000 RPM. Looks like we're hovering real close to about 55 to 6 for most of the straightaway there. And it looks like we're at another caution here. I'm going to nudge forward. Okay, it looks like we're back green. As you can see, it looks like we're spending more, most of our time around 6,000 to 6,500 RPM. What's neat about this is earlier in the video you've seen our peak recall showed about 73, 7400 RPM. So with the traditional gauge panel, traditional tack, that recall doesn't mean a whole lot. You know, that recall might have been one corner where you the tires spun. So the most important thing about this gauge to a racer is being able to see exactly where your RPM is going down the straightaways entering the corner and then exiting the corner. Um, looks like we're at another caution here. I'm going to nudge forward. And it looks like we're back green. Now at any time when you're replaying your race, you can hit button three to change your display screen below. You know, like at this moment in time, oil pressure is 66, 68, Looks like in the corners it's dropping about 61, 54, and then down the straightaways, looks like it's getting about 68. Oil temperature is holding on right around 200 degrees. The fuel pressure going down the straightaway looks like about 5.6. Looks like it's dropping about 4.2 through the corner. Then water temp is holding right at 182. Now just again, you can see the battery bolts will draw down a little bit going down the straightaway. Water pressures right around 29 pounds. Again, you got the oil pressure and the oil temperature on this screen as well as screen two. If you want to pause it at any time, press button four and it'll hold that moment in time. So right here we're at 6,600 RPM. You see the fuel pressure is at 4.9. Oil pressure is at 61 pounds. Battery volts is at 12.3. Water pressure 31 pounds. Hit button four to resume. To exit back to the main menu, you're going to hold button one and four at the same time. Okay, now we're back to the start menu. So we got seven runs total. To scroll through them, hit button one to go down from seven, go all the way down to one. Now each one will show you the time of recording. You know, five minutes and three seconds. That one there is probably hot laps. Three minutes and nine seconds. Next one's 13 minutes, 17 seconds. And it looks like the feature was 18 minutes and 55 seconds. When you find the run you want, to start the play, hit button 4. 
And again, you're re replaying that race. Hit four to pause it. Four again to start it. Press to get out of it again. Press button one and four. We're back at the menu again. You can go down to the next race. One and four to get out. To delete your runs, you'll press buttons one and three at the same time. It'll bring up a message here to press button one to cancel it. Button two to clear the memory. Press two. And now there's zero runs on, in the memory of the dash. And then to go back to the main screen, you can just turn the power off, power back on, and you're back ready to record your next race.